on this edition of Cop Butte, we're talking about Halloween safety. Constable Kara Hagen joins us to keep you safe this Halloween season. What are some tips, Constable Hagen, for parents who are taking their kids out trick-or-treating? Well, one of the best things you can do is take your kids trick or treating. Make sure that the parents go along with the children because then you can monitor both what your children are doing, but also the behavior of other children that are out, right? A lot of older kids will knock down the younger kids and take their candy. It does happen. So it's best if you can go with them and then you can monitor the behavior of the other children, but as well as your own. Another good trick to always remember when trick or treating is to go through your children's candy bags. Make sure that any wrappers that have been opened or look like they may have been tampered with, just discard of that candy. Make sure you go through that candy bag with a fine tooth comb, dump it out, really sift through because unfortunately some people do target candy bags. So the best thing you can do is protect your kids before they ingest any of those yummy goodies. Go through and make sure they're all safe. Yes, we want to make sure they're actually sweet treats and not something something yeah. else in there. And now if you're staying home, you're not going out, one of the someone else is taking your kids out, what is the best way to handle maybe kids coming to your door and knocking on your door? Well, the best thing you can do is always leave your lights on, right? Especially if um, once the kids are done, uh, make sure your lights, your outside lights are left on because if your lights are on, kids are going to be less likely to vandalize your area, right, and your house if they're seen in the spotlight. It is a common thing that vandalism does occur on Halloween. People like to toilet paper houses, egg houses, and we really want to try and eliminate that. So make sure that your lights are on so people know that, oh, if I do something to this property, I'm in the spotlight, right? Neighbors can see me. Uh, remove anything movable on your lawn. Um, a lot of people leave lawn ornaments and whatnot still out. Uh, it's best to bring those in because otherwise they do become targets you can remove them you can throw them you can wreck them steal them all sorts of things like that also make sure you blow the candle out in your pumpkin <laughs> right um, blow the candle out you don't want a fire to occur right it seems silly but it can happen and also maybe another step is to maybe bring the pumpkin inside for the night because as you see the day after Halloween there's always smashed pumpkins on your driveway on the sidewalk on the road and it's best to not have to worry about dealing with a smashed pumpkin mess just bring it in and then you can still enjoy it for a couple more days Thank you so much, Constable Hagen, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Keeping you safe this Halloween. We'll have more on Go Southern Alberta right after this.